Remember that it is not possible with real numbers to take the square root of a negative number because if you multiply a negative times a negative, you get a positive, and if you multiply a positive times a positive, you get a positive. You never get a negative value by multiplying the same two numbers by each other. So we have come up with a system using an imaginary number, i, which is defined as the square root of negative 1. And you can use i, an imaginary number, to take the square root of negative numbers. And the way that works out is negative square root of negative 16 could be rewritten as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 16 because in the end you would just multiply those bases together and it's or those radicands together and um, you get the square root of negative 16 and then now you can solve this out we've already defined the square root of negative 1 as i our imaginary number and we know this, that the square root of positive 16 is 4 so our answer to the square root of negative 16 is 4 times i, which is an imaginary number. Let's practice a few. The square root of negative 25 is the same as saying square root of 25 times the square root of negative 1, and the square root of 25 is 5. The square root of negative 1 is our imaginary number i. The square root of negative 9, we know the square root of 9 is 3, and the negative indicates that it's going to be an imaginary number. Square root of negative 36 is the same as saying 6i.